If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. Sweet. None of it. You don't see anybody lighting their fireworks this way. I'm the only one came up with it many years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll run around with flares, blinding them, and lighting fuses with them and stuff. Wow. It's just no good. This is the way you do it. The torch stays away from your tank, stays away from your flame. You can reach way out to light. Yep. It's everything. I take it you've done this before. Oh, man. For uh -huh. 42 years. I pumped the septic tanks. I had the septic mm -hmm. business. Yep. And uh, pumped the septic tanks here for the old owner. And I said, hey, wouldn't you like some fireworks during the 4th? So oh, I yeah. came, did a little $300 show, and after that, he hired me, and it's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger every right year on. since then. How old were you when you started? So oh, I baby. was 20. Okay. Yep. So. What got you into it? So nobody around here could afford it or was having it. And I wanted to see colors all year long, not mm -hmm. just one time a year. So I got a magazine, and I'd run around to different people. We'd put in our orders together have it shipped to my house, and then I take my orders to those people. Mm -hmm. And because of putting in that order, I would get free stuff. So I take the free stuff, mm -hmm. shoot it or sell it. That gave me more money to go buy more fireworks and keep it going like that. Beautiful. And then it got bigger and bigger, and then I'm doing Class B, like the town stuff. Yeah. And um, Is it true that um, I've heard that a lot of the town fireworks have been canceled? They have. Is anything else happening, or is it just this, no, like in this region? There is a Mountain View Hotel. Mm -hmm. They're doing their own? Yep. Okay, cool. But the right. usual government stuff's been canceled. Right, a lot of that's all been canceled. Here is Crosby Peck at uh, Rogers Campground at the very end of Fork Fest after two weeks of uh, freedom lovers being here. Everything's culminating in a fireworks show that, as I understand it, has been going on since Longer than you've even owned this park, and you've owned this place, what, 23 years? 23 years I've been here, yep. And you took this tradition over from the, the prior owner. Prior the owner, the, actually the guy who originated the park. Started somewhere back in 1965. Now when the fireworks started, I don't really remember. Well, the guy down there, Joel, says it's uh, been 42 years yes. <laughs> he's been doing this. And uh, who was Roger the owner of the park? Who was Roger? Roger Chaquette was the one who actually was a farmer uh, and got allergic to hay. And this used to be a hay lot. Hmm. And when he got done haying, people would go by and ask him if, in fact, they couldn't camp here. Mm -hmm. So when he became allergic and he heard from the doctors that he was going to have to give up farming, he uh, made a campground here. Mm -hmm. And he just kept expanding and expanding and expanding until now it's the largest of its sort in uh, New Hampshire. How was the uh, the Freedom Festivals, both of them this year? How did you feel about it? Actually, they were very well attended. And, mm -hmm. you know, they've always been well attended. And we've always had a real good time with them. And after you've done it for 15 years, and all those, a lot of those faces are very familiar. Yeah. Do you feel like people who attend them are responsible? Do they tend to clean up after themselves, that kind of thing? To be honest with you, but normally Pork Fest was one week and then the next week was the 4th of July and mm -hmm. stuff like that. We have actually found out that when after Pork Fest, the place is immaculate. Mm -hmm. After the 4th of July, we have to go pick up. <laughs> That's because there's all kinds of people. Yeah, you get all kinds right. of, they're off the road and everything yep. else. And, well, that's part of the fun group. of this, is people coming together and uh, having this experience. And I want to say thank you to uh, thank you to you for providing this, for folks. Well, they, they tried to scare us. They didn't quite make it, but they tried to scare us. You don't scare easy, do you, Crosby? <laughs> no. I like a good fight. <laughs> I'd like to see the that. Libertarian Party get into the House and get into the Senate and make people think about what the hell's going on. Well, now's a good time for it. I mean, it we is. couldn't. Uh, the only worst candidates that could have chosen would have been 2016, right? So. <laughs> We've had a good two weeks. The people in the office were very appreciative of anybody. I mean, no, everybody came in and they were just perfect gentlemen and ladies. Yeah, it they? seemed to have a real laid back vibe. Everybody was okay. Well, most of what I have found talking to these people, most of them are well educated people who have very responsible jobs. 
and whether they work for themselves or they work for a company, they hold positions that are quite uh, of some importance. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's it's very interesting to sit and talk to them. I get yeah. a kick out of talking to them. It's an impressive group. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It really is. Free thinkers, but that's it. <laughs> Always appreciate it, Crosby. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> All right.
we'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.